Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Cooper here, and I've got another pickups video for you today. Um, I've got some really cool stuff, and I do have a lot of stuff, so we're just going to jump into it. Um, well, first off, um, my friend gave me, he gave me these for free. Um, this first one is a Nintendo 64. It's missing the jumper pack cover, but that's fine. Um, it works good, so I got that for free. There's no cords or controllers or anything with that. And then he also gave me the Super Nintendo. It's got a little note written on there. And uh, when he gave it to me, he said there was a quarter stuck in here and the door wouldn't open. And I was trying to push it and it was it wouldn't budge at all. So I basically just went like this. And now it opens. But if you can hear that, there's a quarter or a nickel or something is in there. Um, I do not have the Nintendo screwdriver, so I can't open it up. But he said it does work. I haven't tested that one, though. And then <clears throat> um, I made a trade with my friend. I'm, I don't remember what I gave him, but this is one of the things he gave me. It's the box for a Sega Genesis Model 2, and it's the Lion King edition. And... I already have the Sega Genesis, so now I have the box, and he gave me the game. And then, also as part of the trade, he gave me Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, for the Super Nintendo. It's really clean, really good shape. And then the last thing he gave me is Donkey Kong Land 2 for the Game Boy. So now I have Donkey Kong Land 1 and 2. And then I have Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy also. Um, <clears throat> next, um, I traded one of my copies of Morrowind and Jack 2 for the PS2 uh, to my friend. And I got uh, Halo, the first one. This is the Game of the Year edition. But I had the second one, so now I've got this one. And the friend that uh, I traded the, those games to for this Halo game... He actually texted me and said he needed an Xbox power cord because he was selling the Xbox. And I said I had one and I just said make an offer. And um, I usually try I usually try and sell those extra cables and stuff for like two dollars. And he offered me ten bucks for it because um, he was selling the he was selling his Xbox for eighty. And I wasn't home and he needed it that night, so he ended up offering me 20 bucks for it if I would if I would bring it to him. So he gave me 10 bucks so far for it, and then he's giving me another 10 uh, once he sells the Xbox. <clears throat> and then the next thing I got uh, it's a GameCube game. It's Worms Blast. Complete. I got this from GameStop. Um, it was used and it was only $2.99, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Worms games are pretty fun. But uh, the friend that gave me the Super Nintendo and stuff, um, he also had a uh, Nintendo DS Lite um, with some game in there. And we went to GameStop and they told him that if he brought it back with a charger, they'd give him 30 bucks for it. And so he came and got a charger from me and then we went to GameStop and they only offered him 18 So he ended up just trading in the game. They gave him 3 bucks. And he said I could use the credit to buy this. So I got that. And then I actually traded him Mario Party 3 for the Nintendo 64. And I got the DS Lite from him. It was a pink one. And then um, I traded the DS Lite and my 32 gig iPod Touch. And I got... Well, I don't know if you can see it, but... I got that. I got a Nintendo Wii. <clears throat> um, it came with... There's a 2 gig SD card in there that it came with. It came with two nunchucks, a classic controller, a regular Wiimote, and then another Wiimote with the uh, Wii Motion Plus attachment. And then it came with these three games. It came with Red Steel. It's missing the instruction manual, but all these games are in really good condition. Klonoa, that one's complete, and then Super Smash Brothers Brawl complete. 
uh, I was the only reason I got the Nintendo DS Lite from my friend was so that I could try and sell it or trade it. Um, I've been trying to get a Wii for a few days now, trying to trade my iPod Touch for it, and nobody was going for it. But I finally found this guy who was willing to trade, and he delivered it to me also. So that was pretty cool. The Wii came modded. Um, it was pre-modded, and it had uh, 15 burned games with it, and I'm not going to show those, but I updated the Wii to the newest firmware, which erases any mod you have, and then I reset and I uh, formatted the memory, so now it's like a brand new Wii, basically. Um, I let, I'm going to try and collect the Wii games rather than just have a burned, have burned ones, so... If anybody out there has a modded Wii and wants some some burned games, I've got probably 15, and they're all good games. You know, it's like all the Guitar Heroes, Paper Mario, all that stuff. So I think, yeah, that's everything that I got um, recently. And if anybody out there has any cool Wii games that they want to trade, um, please send me a message. I'll be looking for some. Uh, my favorites are Mario, Sonic, Zelda, that kind of stuff. Um, and then I, I want the new Pokemon game and the new uh, Kirby game. I think it's called Kirby's Yarn. So please send me a message if you have any of those, if you want to trade. And thanks for watching, and subscribe.